Okay, hello. Um, after working at CDM for three years, I look like a Muppet now. So um, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and import the photos you took today. Uh, we're doing... Let me move my microphone over. I've got this nice microphone. It's kind of far away. and It might be nice to even just like hold it. Like some kind of rock star. Okay, I'll put it closer. Awesome. Um, I hope that sounds better. Um, let's go ahead and go to the import mode in Lightroom. Uh, yes. In the upper left here, it tells you your source. If it does not show up here as EOS Digital right away, you likely need to eject and replug in the disk. Um, I only have two photos I need to work with because we're working with the opposites today. So I'm going to uncheck all first. And I know I took this picture outside of the sidewalk. I think I did a couple of the sidewalk. I believe this is the better photo of the sidewalk. A uh, uh, picture of the hallway I'm looking for, specifically this one. Um, once you've selected all three, you're going to click on the import button on the right. So when you're over, when you're looking for the import mode, it's on the left. The actual uh, command to import is on the right here. And we'll let that import. Okay, awesome. Notice it really quickly said it ejected the card after import, so you're free to eject that card, reformat it, and place it back up on the headphone wall. Um, in Lightroom, I'm going to double click on one of these guys. And yeah, there's a picture of the um, wet outside ground. And then I also have a picture of the dry inside ground, lit by fluorescence or lit by the sun. Um, take your pick. A lot of different ways I could think of this as opposites. So, and I like how they both are kind of taken from the same angle, too. So, in order to, I'm going to double click to get back to this thumbnail view. Uh, the first step is to open this up in Photoshop. So you're going to hold down the control key and click on your second photo. So I only want two photos here. Uh, and now right click. You're going to edit in and then open as layers in Photoshop, the last option there. Um, you might get a couple warnings. If something says, um, like you want to edit the original or edit a copy, I like to say edit a copy. Uh, you know, it's just whatever you're in the mood for here. And in room 234, you can really do whatever you want to do in here, right? And Photoshop has gone through these steps of placing both documents in one uh, composition here. I'm going to zoom out again, Command minus, Control minus, I should say, Control minus. And let's look at our layers. I'm going to hide this group here. Let's see. Close tab group. So I'm close this tab. Okay. Um, control minus to zoom out. And now we are going to uncrop this picture by using the crop tool here. Um, and I think I want this to be on the right side. So I'm going to change the canvas size over here on the left. So I need to get it about this big. And I also want room down here for text because we're going to label this as well. So that's about how much you would want to um, increase this. This is creating our side-by-side -side image, or also known as a diptych. Diptych. Okay. Um, and again, people get confused by this because now they just see one picture. Your cursor is also still a crop cursor. You need to go to the move mode here at this point, and we're going to move this picture over like so. And boom, that's pretty much it. That's it for laying it out. I like that. Nice and simple. Uh, we're kind of aligning to this grid here. So we're not doing a freeform thing like we did with our joiner. Uh, next thing we're going to do is add some text. Oh, actually, before I add text, let's add a background here. Um, so to do that, we're going to work with our adjustment layers. The adjustment layers are right here. And I've got this little half moon icon. You want to use this a lot. I love adjustment layers. They're so fun. Um, and for this, we're going to choose solid color. And what that does is going to ask us what solid color do we want to put down in the background. I'm, I'm going to choose white. Um, a nice blue would be nice. You could also choose sample a color from within the picture. So if you have this window open, your color picker window, you can bring the color picker out here and pick a color. And it will sample that green or sample this gold, which might be nice. But today, I'm just going to do white and then click OK. Um, now, from here, 
Look at my layer order. I need to drag my color fill layer to the bottom. And I would like to now add text. So we're going to use the type tool. I'm going to click here. And um, I don't mind what font you use. Use something big. Use something I can read. I can tell this is going to be pretty small right now. So I want to increase the font size by dragging on the T's. You'll notice it gets bigger. Okay, awesome. I'm going to call this outside. Um, right now it's pink, so I'm going to change the color by double clicking on it. Notice that my cursor has to be this little T. This is the move cursor. This is the edit cursor. So I'm going to select that and do that. Okay. And while it's highlighted, I could actually click and drag this more to the right to blow it up even more and move it down. Um, so another way to add text is we can go back to the type tool and make a new type layer. But a really fun way to do this is to hold down the Alt key. So if you click and drag, if you have the Move tool and the, hold down the Alt key, it will copy that layer. And I'll just move it over here. And now I'll show you how to edit this type because this is not outside, this is inside. So I'm going to grab my type tool. and. To edit type, you need to wait until your cursor removes the box from around it. You see that? Hi guys, I'm recording. Can you... You're okay. Come on in. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. So uh, yeah, the, the big tip here is that you want to have the box go away to edit the text. So from here, I'll highlight this. Type in side. And then you are done. We have a side-by-side -side diptych. And um, I like this. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. So go to File, Save As. Uh, look under File Type. It's, it doesn't say Format. It says File Type on Windows. And you can choose the first JPEG option. And we're going to call this uh, Opposites. I'll save this on my desktop. And rock and roll. You're done. Click Save. Always do Quality 10 and enjoy the show. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Oh, yeah. And I'll see you as you are standing next to me in class right now. Okay, bye.